Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, and look at Nishka, she's just relaxing over there. I'm starting off with these puberderm pimple patches because I have zits all over the place and I don't know what I'm allergic to, but they're just there. Anyway, after this, I'm gonna wash my face with Loha Cell's Perfect Foam Cleanser. I feel that it really dries up some zits and that helps me a lot. For my base, I'll be using Everbellana Studio Finish Foundation Stick and this reminds me a lot of Makeup Forever's Foundation Stick, although I don't own one, but I have tried one and it has the same consistency. This also has great coverage. Um, I think it's better to use a brush kesa sa wet sponge. I'm doing a combination of swipes, pats, apples. I also noticed that the finish of this foundation is dewy. So if you have oily skin, you might want to start first with a mattifying primer. I always like to bring my foundation down to my neck. And to set this foundation, I'll be using Everbellana Advance. And this is their two-way cake powder. And I'm just patting that all over my face. I'm not doing swirly motions. The color of this two-way cake powder is oriental. Moving on to the eyebrows, I'm going to use their HD pencil. And this is in the color natural brown. Or wait, sorry. This is dark brown. And I'm carefully putting product on my eyebrows. Now, medjo very soft yung pencil, so be careful. Always use a light hand. And after that, I'm just going through it with a spoolie. Itong ginagamit ko na brush dun sa my inner corners, I do that to make the eyebrows look more natural. This next step is totally optional, but because my hair is blue at the moment, I want to make sure my brows match my hair. So I'm using this shadow from the Caroline palette. I'm going to add a little bit of color on my lids. I'll be using this blush from Everbellana. I believe this is in the color Honest. And it has this kind of orangey feel to it. That was I'm using the same eyebrow pencil, just only on the outer corners of the eyes. That was I'm smudging that with a brush. I love this eyeliner technique because it always gives off a more natural finish. And then I'm just curling my lashes and I'm gonna coat my lashes with Everbellana's Lash Define Waterproof Mascara. What I love about this product is that meron siyang pang bottom and upper lashes. And I really love the wand of the lower lashes. No wand, wand, bold with you wand, but you'll see what I mean. Look, it coats every bottom lash. Ang galing lang kasi yung wand niya, it's specially designed for that. I just want to show you a quick comparison of Benefits California and Everbellana's Honest and the Blush. They look the same. They look exactly the same. Well, not okay, fine. Not exactly, but they're very similar. And then I'm going in with Cheek. It's a little bit of a darker blush than the first one. So itong ginagawa ko ngayon is to give off that fresh, flushed face. And I want to add a little bit of plum in there because puro peachy mga yung stone. So I'm going to use this waterproof matte lipstick also from Everbellana. And I'm just patting that all over my cheeks. I'm just adding moisturizer on my lips and I'm going to go in with cheek. According to the benefit the makeup tutorial, and this is actually inspired off of that video. Because I said you guys need a more affordable version, and so here it is. I'm just adding that um, lipstick on the inner corners para may ombre effect pa din. I thought I was done, but then I thought, why not highlight, right? I know Everbellana already has highlighters available, but I wasn't able to get that from the store. So I'm just adding the white and yellow shadow from the Caroline palette, and it works just well. Look, ang ganda ng highlight. Very subtle lang. And this is it for this makeup tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. This is the time where I make cute and just watch me. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Stay weird.